Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com, and today we are checking out Serum. It's an awesome synth, and it's something I've been toying with, playing around with for a while, but I finally bit the bullet, uh, rented it from uh, Splice, and I'm here to share my thoughts with you. If you haven't yet, make sure you click that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with everything happening at Live Keyboardist, and right now let's take a look at what's happening inside Serum. So when you open Serum up, you've got this pretty gray sort of, uh, you know, monocolored uh, display, which at first to me didn't look all that appealing. However, I'm beginning to realize part of what is actually so spe special about the synthesizer is that everything is kind of here. And there aren't too many windows. We've got an effects window, which we'll talk about here in a second, and we can see the matrix and we've got some global stuff happening, but really, most of what you're gonna need to do is all gonna live right on the screen, and there's something really beautiful about this. So, um, here's our basic, uh... uh wave here, and it's really, uh, quite buzzy. Um, and in comparing this to some other synths, just default, uh, plain old sawtooth waves, I have found this to be a little bit higher quality. Um, Serum does talk about how it uses, uh, slightly more high quality waveforms than others. Um, so this is definitely something, uh, to pay attention to. Now, when you go into this, uh, here, you can see there are actually a ton of different, uh, wavetables that you can choose from, um, and you can kind of scroll through the different shapes. Now, in addition to that, you can go in and, if you so desired, uh, actually draw in your own wavetable, which can be nice if you're looking um, for something that's slightly more customizable. Um, and you kind of have that option. Now, something else I really love about this synth is the way that it handles unison. So, um, that's a pretty crazy unison sound, but I actually have the ability to change how in tune or out of tune these things are, as well as blend the different volumes. So you can see it's actually pretty graphic in display. Like it doesn't take uh, a rocket scientist to figure out what we're looking at when we're playing with the detune and blend. And that is something not to be overlooked, right? We don't want to spend too much time figuring out what's happening with the synth. We want to just start making sounds. Now, if I were to just pull up uh, your second oscillator here, and maybe go into another just default wave, get another saw wave happening. Um, and if I begin to add some unison here, we're just gonna see really quickly. We just start to get a huge sound, and if I were to Go ahead and tune that up. I mean, we're already rocking. We've done almost nothing. Um, the filters in Serum are so nice. Um, one thing to note there, as you can see from what I just did, is you actually kind of have to activate what is going through. Um, so just popping on the A and the B there, you'll see um, that they're going through the filter. But if I uncheck one of them, um, you'll hear it doesn't come through. Now the same goes with our sub bass, which I haven't talked about at all yet. Um, the sub is really nice, uh, nothing particularly crazy noteworthy about it. It does have this direct out button, which is nice if you're looking to kind of skip the uh, filter altogether. Um, and the filter also has this key tracking, which I actually think is maybe a little bit more useful if we go into something different, maybe, you know. Uh, something a little bit crazier with these filters. And uh, there are so many um, interesting filters. A lot of times you end up working with a low pass. Also noteworthy that um, the drive is really powerful and quite lovely. Um, now your envelopes and LFOs all live down here. Envelope one is as usual um, mapped to the volume, but you can go ahead and map these anywhere that you would like, um, just kind of by clicking on them and dropping them. I don't know, maybe we detune it and um, you know make it go. 
Um, and so you get really crazy things really quickly um, if you decide that you want to do that. Um, and then over here in the matrix section, you can further adjust the amount um, if you so desire. Now, um, something that is awesome about Serum is its ability to uh, to uh, bend and change these waveforms. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out a warp mode here. All of them are cool, um, but this is mirror mode. Maybe isolate this so we can hear it a little bit better. Um, but there are other modes here as well, and they just kind of offer some... Some interesting sound warping qualities. Um, I'm not honestly too sure what I would do with this in a live context, but um, if you're designing sound and you're trying to create something that feels... Uh, uh, maybe more organic or a little bit more changing, this is a great uh, way to go and a great place to start. Now, um, just sort of for uh, demonstration purposes here, um, I'm just going to pull back up our sawtooth waves, and I want to demo... Um, oh, that's a good feature as well. Clicking here lets you see all the waves. I just want to demo for you um, just the, the sound effects. Um, so we have this. I'm actually going to go in here and turn up this release. Um, now, if you're looking to kind of get a little bit more comfortable with sound design, I'm going to leave a link below. I have a, a very basic rudimentary, this is how you do sound design course. It's geared towards keyboard players, but great for anybody. Um, that'll really have you up and running. Um, focuses on Ableton, but would be good for um, anybody using any DAW or even if you're using Serum. Um, so I feel like, first of all, we just, I got to show you the, uh, sorry, the reverb. Because it's nice when you just turn it on. So if we pull the size all the way up and pull the decay back a little bit. I mean, that's just a beautiful, beautiful sound. It's got hall and plate. Um, which I love. The chorus as well um, can really give you a nice sound. Um, I like to have my delay set at about 20 seconds, my rate somewhere in the 90s. Oop, too far. And if I turn that off. get some interesting stuff happening right away. Um, of course, the compressor is beautiful as well. Um, if you're looking for a great uh, set of effects that are sort of built into the synth, Serum is the way to go. Now, I will say, Ableton has great built-in synths, but Serum's ease of use is something that makes it noteworthy. So when you open this up, it kind of feels like stuff's just all at your fingertips, which there's just... There's just something to be said for that, guys. There's just something to be said for that. Now, also worth noting, there is a noise oscillator. If you're looking for a little bit of noise, that's not typically something I add into my sound design, um, but it maybe is something you add into yours, so it's worth checking out. Now, um, I would say that if you are looking for an all-in-one kind of solution, um, Serum might not be it. If it's all-in-one that you're looking for, I would highly recommend you go with Arturia Pigments. But if you're looking for just a wavetable synth that's super powerful, that's got all the built-in stuff, I would say yes, um, go with Serum. You can really create um, anything you can think of using this synthesizer. Um, now make sure before you go, you click that like button and that subscribe button. Now on the screen right now, I've also got some videos uh, that are gonna help you master sound design, especially if you are a keyboard player. So go ahead and click on the one that's most relevant to you and I will see you next time.